For thousands of years, some of the smartest people have been asking themselves different versions of the same question. Why do we like what we like? Is there a formula for beauty, popularity, for human affinity? The ancient Greeks were convinced that the answer to this was the golden ratio. The Enlightenment age thinkers said it's Kant's theory of aesthetics. But today, we don't have the golden ratio or philosophers. We have advertisers, and in the advertiser formula, the first variable is always novelty. A bunch of researchers decades ago studied all the words in all the advertisements they could find and the most common word was new. In the cult of novelty that we live in, companies want us to buy new things, they want us to crave new things, but the truth is, we actually don't like novelty, we hate it. According to the mere exposure effect, the mere exposure of any stimulus to you over time will bias you toward the stimulus. Just think about it. We seek out new songs, but the songs we most reliably enjoy are those with familiar code structures and timbers. We seek out new movies, but every year the majority of top 10 movies are sequels, adaptations or reboots. We could make the case that familiarity is written into our genetics, but we won't get into that in this video. So if people like new things only if they are just like old things, how do you balance familiarity and surprise in such a way as to design things that people love? To engineer surprise. Enter Raymond Lowy, the French orphan who designed the 20th century. After World War I, Lowy went to New York and was quite disappointed by what lay in front of him, a grungy and noisy hulk of the industrial age. He then devoted the rest of his life to beautifying America in his image, and he did. Raymond Lowy designed the most famous car of the 20th century, the 1953 Studebaker. He designed the most famous train and locomotive of the 20th century, the Pennsylvania Railroad Class GG1. He designed the modern Greyhound bus and the modern tractor. He designed the modern Coca-Cola fountain, a pencil sharpener, the logos of Exxon and USPS. Basically, Lowy designed all of the 1950s Americana. JFK invited Lowy to the Oval Office where together, sitting on the floor, they came up with a design that still dawns the most famous plane in the world the Air Force One. So what did Lowy understand about human psychology that he knew what we wanted from planes, cars, trains and logos? Everything comes down to four letters, Maya, most advanced yet acceptable. Lowy said, human preference is a torn between two forces, neophilia, a love of new things, and neophobia, a fear of anything new. Lowy believed that to make hits, you need to make products that live at the intersection of the familiar surprise. To sell something familiar, you have to make it surprising. But to sell something surprising, you should make it familiar. Lowy was not a scientist, but this theory has been proved and validated by scores of studies and meta-studies since he died. It has been used to explain hits in technology, in academics, in culture and even in politics.